Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on long multiplication. So uh, there's two methods of doing long multiplication. Uh, the first method we'll look at is the column method. And we'll use an example of 281 times 23 uh, to go through the column method. So the first thing we have to do is write this out as a column and we need a lot of space to do this. So I'm gonna write it over here on the right where I've got the most amount of room. So we've got 281 times 23. Uh, so we set up the column like this. And then what we do is we take the last digit of the smaller number and multiply it by each of the digits in the larger number in sequence going from right to left. Uh, so we'll start off doing three times one, which is just three. And then we put a zero in and when we do the three times eight, because the place value is different. So we're dealing with uh, eight tens here rather than just one single digit. So this is the tens column. So we do up three times eight, which is 24. Uh, and then uh, the zero here turns that into 240. And we do the same thing, but we put two zeros in now for the next step, which is three times two, so that's six. So uh, we sum up each of these three values here. So we've got three plus zero plus zero is three, four add zero is four, and two add six is eight. So uh, we've got 843 as our first sum, and then uh, we'll draw a line under that and move on to the twos, uh, the two here, uh, which is 20. Uh, so because this is uh, in the tens column, we put a zero here and then we do two times one. So we're repeating the process as before. So two times one is two. So that gives us 20. Then we have, uh, and we need to put two zeros in here, sorry, uh, and then do two times eight, which is 16. And then we put three zeros in and do two times two, which is four. So if we sum up these three values, then, then we get uh, zero for this column, two for this column, six for this column, and five for this column. So then all we have to do is sum up these two values here, 843 and 5620. So uh, 5620 plus 843. So we're just doing column addition here. So zero plus three is three, two plus four is six, six plus eight is 14. We'll carry the one and five add one is six. So we get 6,463. So our final answer is 6,463. If you want to get some practice in with this topic, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. So if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. Uh, so all of this is really good practice for your exam and it'll help you prepare. You'll get instant feedback on every question. So uh, it's a really good way of finding out where you went wrong and helping you improve in the long run. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.